Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screenshot from a post from a BD member on this screen right now. I want you to read it and then we're going to have a conversation over it, okay? So grab yourself, I don't know, some green tea or a bottle of wine like myself and we're going to have a chat and talk about trading psychology. You know what, I've been a full-time trader for eight years now and this is the one question that really bugs me because I don't know the answer to it. And that is, what does it take to be a full-time trader from a psychological point of view? It's even led me down the path of learning human psychology because I know the answer to most questions, but this one bugs me. Now, when I was learning to trade, most traders would tell me, um, you know, you need to learn discipline, you need to learn patience, you need to learn money management, you need to learn to go to walks, you need to exercise, you need to uh, meditate, you need to read books, you need to go to the gym. And I'm like, really? Really? You want me to become a full-time trader by going to the gym? Because what, going to the gym is going to make me trading? Oh yeah, what are you doing? Oh, learning to trade, mate. More time I spend at this gym, the better the trade I come. Bigger arms, bigger profits. Really? Is that what you're telling me to do? And it's that one question that I don't know the answer to. Everyone always kind of thinks they know the answer, but they don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you my story, how I got into trading, my experiences, my highs, my lows, and hopefully you can use that as kind of a motivation towards your journey. So my journey into trading was definitely difficult. I split up with two ex-girlfriends because of trading. It was a lot of chart time, a lot of suffering, a lot of pain. Like I said, I split up with girlfriends over it because all they said they did, I did was just chart time. All you do, Jamie, sit on that chart. You watch YouTube videos. You don't spend time with me. You're so focused on learning to trade. You don't do anything else. And it's made me realize I've been in this game for eight years, full-time trader. And I can tell you right now, it does not get any easier. Literally, trading itself is difficult. It is a very horrible industry to be in, which I'm sure you're thinking that's a very weird thing to say, Jamie, because when I watch YouTube videos, and I agree with you, when you watch people on YouTube and they're all in Dubai with Lamborghinis, you know, they're like, oh yeah, look at me, I made hundreds of thousands of pounds off my phone on a beach. In reality, it's not like that. I've been eight years now, like I said, you know, I own Lamborghinis, private jets, yachts, don't own a private jet, but can fly private. And it doesn't get any easier. I can tell you, trading itself is difficult. And when you actually break it down, here with me here, when you break it down, think about this. We spend a lot of time on our own staring at candlesticks on our charts, okay? And those candlesticks can be open to interpretation. Some people see, you know, trend lines. Some people see support and resistance. And we go around in circles, literally watching videos, learning strategies, looking at the exact same candlestick patterns. You know, you look at the same candlesticks as I do, right? But you'll see different things to me. It's a very difficult, lonely, depressing industry to be in. And not only that, it is very self-centered. The only person that benefits from trading is you. When others lose, you profit. When you lose, people profit, right? The only person it benefits is you. You're not building a business, you're not building a brand. All you are doing is accumulate, accumulating money in your trading account right? It's very self-centered. You don't get promotion. You don't succeed. The only thing you have is numbers in your trading account. It's very self-centered, revolving massively around money. And not only that, right? When you think about this, and think about this one, right? When you lose money and when you make money in trading, you're not supposed to feel emotional about it. When you blow trading accounts, when you lose money, when you have a good day, when you do 100% in one week, you're not supposed to feel anything about it. That's the whole point of trading, is it, right? Trade without emotion. Trade like a robot. Trade your set of rules. Trade your strategy. But 
you're not supposed to feel upset when you lose money and you're not supposed to feel happy when you make money. Like that whole emotion has to go somewhere, right? It takes a negative, it has a negative impact on your actual personality, right? Which is what people don't tell you. Let me give you an example, right? November, I think I made a video where I made like 50 grand in one month. I actually made 70 grand in one month. So that's news to you. I made 70 grand in one month. I made an extra 20 grand. And I swear to God, I was sitting at the bar drinking shots of tequila on my own. And I sat there and thought, I don't, I don't feel anything. Am I supposed to feel happy? Well, what am I supposed to do? Because like five years ago, earning 70 grand a year would be a life-changing experience. Now I'm earning that a month. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to feel happy? Am I supposed to go and buy a new car or Rolex? What am I supposed to do? Go on holiday? To treat my missus? I literally felt nothing. No emotion. No dopamine levels at all. And I thought to myself, that's the whole point though. That's why I have that money. Because I don't trade with emotion. I don't feel emotion. And I sat there and started questioning well, what is the point? What is the point? I have all this money and I feel nothing. And it's made me realize, right, that trading is supposed to be like that. That is trading itself. And it is such a difficult environment. It's a difficult industry to be in. And one thing I have learned from trading is that we only learn when things get difficult. It is the only way. You will only grow as a person if something is difficult. Let me give you an example, right? Two years ago, a lot of BD members will know this, I broke my back. I had a car crash, head-on collision, I broke my back, right? Now, before I broke my back, my life was kind of stagnant, you know, it was just going around in circles, earn money, sleep, trade, earn money. Sleep, trade, earn money. That was it, right? I was just going in circles. Since I broke my back, I'm more stronger, I'm more confident, I'm more healthier. I've literally increased my net worth by 10 times because I went through the suffering and pain of, tr of breaking my back. It made me realize that life is short. I need to enjoy it right now. I need to do everything right now. And it's funny because people come up to me and they say, oh, Jamie, you broke your back. You know, it must have been painful. How are you feeling? I'm like, it was the best thing that happened to me. I, I Honestly, it was the best thing that happened to me because I went through that suffering and I went through it and I became a better person. And if I hadn't gone through that, I wouldn't have improved as a trader. What's that famous saying? The work, the, su the success comes from the work you avoid. That couldn't be any more closer to the truth. Let's say you go to the gym, right? If you go to the gym when you feel like you're motivated to go to the gym, you don't go to the gym because nobody, I don't think anyone's motivated to go to the gym. But when you go to the gym when you don't feel like going to the gym, that's when you start to grow as a person. And that is the exact same with trading, right? When times get difficult and you sit there and you've you know, four hours on the charts and you've had no setups and you feel frustrated, you feel like you've wasted time or you've blown accounts, right? Analyze where you go wrong. You have to experience that suffering to grow as a person. The easy route is to just change strategies, learn something else, watch someone else's YouTube video, but you are not going to learn that way. You have to go for that suffering and you have to accept responsibilities. Right, where did I go wrong? What was the mistakes that I did? How can I improve that? Let's analyze. Only then will you improve as a trader. Let me give you another example, right? Uh, a few months ago, I was gonna buy a million pound business. It was a massive warehouse and most of it was gonna be paid for in cash. And I remember, right, I turned up at this warehouse. It was early, early in the morning. The only person there was the director. There was no one else there. It was completely empty. And I was looking at this warehouse and it was the size of a football pitch. And my mate said to me, Jamie, are you sure you can handle this? This is massive. And I went, well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's just do it. 
and think about this, right? Where I want to be and where I am now is completely two different things. Now, where I want to be, I know to get there, I have to level up. I have to put myself in situations I have not been before. I have to put myself through suffering, through pain, through anxiety. I have to be in that situation where, like, I don't know the answers. I have to find the answers. To get to where I need to be, I need to level up. And that's the exact same with trading. You have to blow an account to learn from your mistakes. Where have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? What can I do to improve it? You will see me time and time again. The strategy is simple, right? Tra you know, trading um, currency pairs, market will only ever go three ways. Uptrend, downtrend, sideways. That is it. That's the simple part, right? Everybody can quite quick, clearly see if price is in an uptrend, it's going up. You know what I mean? If it's going from this side of the screen to here, uptrend, everybody can see that. But actually putting that on the charts and trading it every single day is the difficult part. You know, completely quitting your job and becoming a full-time trader is the hard part because you have to be confident in your, your decision making that it's the right thing to do. I'm going to quit my job and become a full-time trader. You have to be confident that you're going to make money every single day. You have to part, start to put the infrastructures in place OK, because you can't just quit your job from one trading account. You're going to need multiple trading accounts with multiple different brokers or multiple prop firms with, uh, you know, different prop firms, different prop firm accounts, different prop firm sizes. You need to have at least a year's worth of money in the bank. You need to at least have money invested into stocks, uh, commodities, maybe some crypto, some property. You need to at least pay off the majority of the mortgage of your house. You have to experience these situations to be able to grow as a human. And I, that's my best bit of advice I can give to somebody as, you know, that's been in this industry for eight years that it does not get any easier. And I say to people right now, right, if you can't grow a £100 trading account, you wait till you get a hundred grand. It's a completely different level. If you can't manage a hundred pound, boy, you know, when you get to a hundred grand level and you're making thousands of pounds and then you have to withdraw that and invest it, it's, you know, I mean, I'm going off record, but I remember when I was like buying a Lamborghini and I had to move large amounts of money to pay for the Lamborghini. It is not an easy process. I've not been in that process before where, where the, you have to ring the bank up and explain, listen, I'm going to buy this car, you know, and you're moving that amount of money. I've not experienced that, but you have to put yourself in that situation. It's the same with trading. You have to be in those situations. You can sit there and say, read books, you know, go to the gym, you know, learn discipline. The only way you're going to improve as a trader if you actually go through that suffering experience. I say the best way to learn to trade is actually be in a trade that is real money because then you learn about stop losses, take profit, managing that trade. I mean, most people, as soon as the trade goes five pips, they close it off in profit, right? And nobody wants to close a losing trade off because if, it's a, if they close a losing trade off, it's a loss. If it's still open, it's not technically a loss. So most people will hold tr losing trades. As soon as the trade goes into profit, they'll close it off early, right? And you can sit there and say to someone, do this, do that, and it will work. But they won't because they haven't experienced what it's like to actually blow an account, right? And I say this to everyone, right? I mean, when you watch my videos, I literally give you the path to success in such a simple way. Mogwai reversal signal. This is a trend. We buy. It gives you a bloody signal for God's sake. Just buy the market. First pullback. I literally give you it on a plate. But the thing is, if you are a quitter, you will just quit. Doesn't matter how many videos I do motivating you, right? If you are a quitter, you will just quit when times get hard. But you have to experience that hardship to improve. Like I said, the success comes from the work you avoid. 
right? If you're constantly learning a new strategy, learning this, learning that, learning this, you don't learn anything. You're just learning a new strategy, but you're not fixing the problem. The problem is understanding what it actually takes to be a full-time trader. And my advice to you is, as someone that's been in this game for eight years, it doesn't get any easier. It really doesn't. I mean, I'm on my path to, you know, earning millions, you know, where I, I mean, my dream, my goal was to earn a hundred grand in the bank. Well, I achieved that a few years ago, hundred grand in the bank. Now, you know, I've got almost like close to a million in the bank, right? And I'm, you know, my net worth's 10 times that in property and, you know, other businesses, stocks and stuff. But, I don't know. I've not been there. I don't know what it feels like. You know, I'm now sitting with people that are on that kind of level of millions. And I'm like, how the hell did I get here? Literally, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. You know, like buying that warehouse for a million pounds. I've not been in that situation. But the only way to get to that point is I have to level up. I have to put myself in uncomfortable positions. And that's the same with trading. You know, when you go from zero to 100 grand, you have to have the in-between, right? You have to level up each time, right? And that's what I'm going to give you, right? I'm going to end it here with that bit of advice is that I understand it is difficult for you. You watch endless videos and you try this, you try that and nothing's working for you. But my advice is, okay, it is supposed to be, it's supposed to be frustrating, it is supposed to be hard. It is supposed to be difficult, you know, depressing that you're losing money. So analyze where you are going wrong. If you've blown a trading account and you have 10 consecutive losing trades in a row, right? That's good. What are those 10 losing trades in a row? What's the pattern? Do they have anything in common? What can I do to eliminate those losses? And then you start to improve. If I said to you right now, Trade the Mogwai reversal strategy. These are the rules. Take 500 trades. Document every single trade and then come back to me and I'll analyze them for them. I guarantee you won't do 500 trades. You'll do about 10 trades and you'll give up and you'll do something else, right? Because that's the easy route. Oh, well, this guy over here is doing, you know, 100% win ratio. Okay, I want to I wanna learn that, right? Well, that's the easy route. Because you'll learn that and it won't work for you. So you need to come back and fix the problem. And I can tell you, it's not easy. I've been in this game eight years and it ain't easy. But you have to go through that. I can't do that. You'll only improve as a person, right, when you go through that hardship. Like I said, when I broke my back, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. The best thing. I am now enjoying life because I went through that life-changing experience to realise Listen, life's short. I need to do something about this. Right? So just to end it there, my bit of advice to you is just keep going. Keep going. I know it's suffering. I know it's painful. I know it's difficult. I know it's frustrating. But just keep going. You will become a better trader if you keep pushing through. I'm eight years ahead of you right? And I still have the exact same difficulties as you do. When I look at some of the investments or, you know, things that I have my fingers in, you know, hedge funds, mutual funds, and I'm moving large amounts of money, I'm sitting there thinking, I've never been in this situation. Like, am I doing the right thing? I don't know, but let's find out. We could, you know, what's the worst that can happen? I lose a bit of money. And, and that's my advice to you that going from zero to 100 grand, you need to have the in-between. Just keep plugging away. You're no different to everyone else. I'm in the same situation as you. Yes, I might be a few levels above you, but you'll get there, right? When you get, and this is what I always say, because people always, I'm, I'm going on again. But when people always ask me about business advice, because I have, you know, I own a few businesses, and one of them is really not the BD. BD is more of a bit of a hobby because I enjoy it. I enjoy making these videos. But I have a few, you know, businesses. And people always ask me for advice. And I say, in business, you don't really know the answer. You just wing it, right? It's like, I don't know if this is going to work, but let's find out. And when we get there, we'll, we'll worry about the things at the end of it. Let's, let's first of all get there. 
If we have to employ someone to give us the answers, we can do that. Google has a good, you know, Google gives us free answers. We can hire an accountant. We can hire, hire a financial advisor. We can hire a lawyer, whatever, right? But let's get there first, okay? Unless you make that jump, we don't know, okay? We can always look at stuff in hindsight. It's the same with trading, simulating, backtesting. Yes, you might be able to make 20% in backtesting. Try and do that live with a real money, different story. You might be able to do that with a thousand pound, but do that with a hundred grand, oh, different story, right? It's all emotion, but you have to put yourself in that situation. It has to be difficult. And then eventually it will become second nature, It'll just become normal. Then you scale up hundred grand to a million. So I'm gonna leave that there. I hope you enjoyed today's video.